Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Nice to see you, my young friend. That's what I feel sorry for, the ones who don't receive any owls. Poor thing. Have you seen that? <laughs> Do you ever wish? if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Incendium. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. 
rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. Ourselves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Our students never will in the kitchen. Students. What could they want? Delicious food and found themselves a bit peckish like me. Ravenia. <laughs> it smells glorious in here. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Some Welsh rabbit. Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Accio! Revelio! Ah, you're back! No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it.
Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Er, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want as if i need to ask um it, it's richard jackdaw uh, where can we find him uh, may we speak to him jackdaw eh why here he is now what a shame without his head i bet you've always wondered what that's like eh nick <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir you jest <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you. If I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. But, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Revelio. If the headsman could only see me now... Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Who will be next to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him! Revelio. Oh, what fun! Lumos. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jack Dorf? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Oh, what fun! A stick is playing! Accio! 
I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. I've never seen a place like this. How delightful. Akio! Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Rebellion. <laughs> I've never seen a place like this. How delightful. Here we go again. Rebellion. I could do that too if I had a wand. thought a mortal would be so good at this. You've almost got it. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge.
on another adventure, are we? Returns to the Protego Akio Incendio. Incendio. Uh, avoiding our problems, are we? You're the little soldier. Incendio. Protect the rat.
Incendio. Rebellion.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pack. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although... We got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle.
Revelio. I hope you were able to take care of... Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. I see. What are you up to now?
La vie est seule. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Nothing to do now, but keep going. Off on another adventure, are we? Akio. Incendio. Protego. Akio. Incendio. 
Incendio. Send you. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Incendio. Intramuros. you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, ah! Incendio. Those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I wonder how big this place is. Yeah. 
something to do with opening this door. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells put me through this. is hidden somewhere. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Accio. Rebellion. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him.
There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the hell is bridge is jacked. Monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Look around for the symbol. Must be getting closer to Jack Dawes' remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Revelio! Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room?
Some nothing. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no. The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And, might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. Rebellion. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would!